12 behavior that can damage your relationship all of us want to have a good relationship a relationship which can always give each other support respect and the most important is you want to make this relationship go for years and hopefully forever the truth is sometimes we make mistakes those mistakes can be varied and you don't realize it at first place maybe you feel like just doing your habit and there's nothing wrong about it you wake up from your bed do your routine check and you live your day by feeling everything is just fine or maybe you already feel that there's something wrong with your relationship but you have no idea what makes your relationship go in the wrong directions from the ideal image you build in the first place these are 12 behaviors you should be aware of if you want to maintain your relationship in a good condition because if this behavior is not repaired as soon as possible, this behavior can harm a relationship, even the strongest one. 1. You never discuss about finances with your partner. One of the biggest sources of conflict which often occurs between couples are financial issues. Try to remember what happens if you as the situation becoming tense? How about the communication between you? Did you or your partner ever talk about finance openly? Or do you just make financial decisions by yourself without communicating it first with your partner? If you are not talking openly about money with your partner, it can bring problems in the future. If these happen, you or your partner can feel betrayed due to the lack of communication for any decision making that involves money. Try to communicate any financial plan or decision with your partner. Because when you decide to share your life with your partner, it also means you have to share financial planning. Well, maybe money can't buy happiness, but without money your life can be difficult. So be wise about money. 2. The lost of identity. It was really nice when you can do anything together with your partner. Wherever you go or wherever your partner goes, you both are always seen together. From doing hobbies together, going out with friends together, and all activities. Sharing a common interest may be a good way to preserve the bonds between you. But you must be aware about what you really want. To make a successful relationship does not mean that you must use the same smartphone brand, you don't have to like the same food, or you don't have to listen to the same music as your partner does. It does not mean to like the same thing is a bad thing. But you have to remember your true identity. This also applies in reverse. Don't let your partner lose their identity. Because differences are a gift which can enrich your relationship. 3. You or your partner covered their past. All of us has our own past. You and your partner had their own experience. Those past experience is the one that make you become the way you are now. But sometimes your past story can affect today's situation. In a romantic relationship one of the most sensitive parts is when it comes about your relationship with your ex. The second most likely to interfere with your relationship today is about finance. For instance maybe you have unfinished debt problems, mortgage or, or any financial problems. Very reasonable if you or your partner have past stories. All humans do. But the real problem is not about your past. It's about what you do with your past. Are you going to open yourself and tell everything about your past with your partner? Or you just want to cover it up? Before you make any decision try to communicate with your partner. Even better, both of you make some agreement about this topic. Some couples can open up all of their stories, others make a diplomatic approach where they make a deal that their couple can have their own past. The only thing they'll want to do is look forward. If you have made this agreement, both of you will know what to do if at any time in the future you have to face this kind of problem. 4. The fear of being offensive. Have you ever felt some objection about what your partner does? Do you feel your partner's cooking has a terrible taste but you don't want to say it because you don't want them to feel bad? Your partner is an ugly driver and sometimes they do dangerous driving on the road but when they ask you, are you okay? And the only thing you do is nod it. You are afraid that if you speak up your mind they'll be mad at you. The last thing you want to face is a conflict with your partner. A healthy relationship will always have some conflict. From the small one up to bigger conflict. The fact is human development based on conflict and confrontation. From the confrontation with nature or with each other. Try to see conflict from a different angle. Because if you always keep your objection or anger inside you, it can be potentially dangerous. It can stress you out. 
At one point it will explode and bring a lot more, so much, much more damage. If you don't have the courage to speak up straight at the moment, try to find some relaxed time to talk with your partner. Or if you still can't speak, you can send a message, or write a letter tucked in their bag or pocket. Well, it is some kind of traditional ways but when you can't speak, a handwritten is one option you can do. 5. You stop showing affection. Do you remember when the last time your partner kissed you, giving you a hug, or just saying a simple sentence like, I love you? When does your partner say good night to you and your kids? Did they call you even though they were really busy at work? Affection is not about giving each other luxury cars or expensive holidays in Paris. It's about a little touch or small words you say or do to each other. The largest sensory organs on our body is our skin. We feel love and caring through the touch sensation between skin. You should be aware if you or your partner stop to touch each other. It's a non-verbal sign that there is something wrong with your relationship. Do some introspection, is it you the one who stopped giving affection? If you do try to figure out why. But if it is from your partner, then you must start an initiative. Show them that you still love them like the first time you meet. Try to approach them patiently. Maybe you both only need to lighten up a bit your love life. Take some vacation only with you and your partner, or make dinner without kids. Try to spark up your love and bring back the memories about how bright it is back in the day. 6. Too much smartphones, too little communication. Today's age of communication brings a new pattern on our lives. We can't deny the progress of information technology. It truly makes our lives easier. Everything is going so fast in our palm. From all of the technology advantages, there's also a negative impact. We started to stare too much on our smartphone screen. The world keeps spinning while our thumbs keep searching the new app or celebrity gossip. Wait a minute. You've got to remember that you are the one who controls the technology. Do not let smartphones make you forget that you have your loved ones. Your partner, your family, your kids. You are still a human that needs each other. You feel bad and not appreciated if you talk to a person but they just look down and only pay attention to their gadget don't you? So do your partner. You have to control your time for gadget consumptions. When your partner wants to talk with you, put aside your smartphones and start to listen to them. See their eyes while they talk and feel the differences. It doesn't mean you have to throw away your gadget. Just try to remember that you are still a human. Show your smartphone who is the boss. 7. You find escape through compulsive behavior. What is a compulsive behavior? Compulsive behavior happens when you try to escape from your troubles into a destructive and unproductive way. You do these negative thoughts or behavior continuously even though the results only make you into an unhealthy person and eventually it could damage your relationship. What do you do every time you find a dead end or a setback in your life? Do you go to the nearest bar and go drinking? Do you take your cigarettes hiding inside your room and put a please don't disturb sign on your door? Do you go to shops a lot to distract you from your problem? Make an observation on your surroundings, do you find many stuff you don't need from a store? Does your body smell bad and your face darkened? If so, maybe it's just a result of your compulsive behavior. You have to be really careful if you find yourself get caught in this type of behavior. Before all of this happens try to communicate with your partner. Tell them what is going on, or any problems you're facing right now. But if they can't help you then maybe now is a good idea for you to find professional help. Sharing your problems as soon as possible is the best way possible. To prevent you from compulsive behavior. 8. Being stubborn. Having a strong principle in life is important. That's what builds our integrity and the way of our lives. A good principle can make us become a person who cannot easily be affected by other values which we think are not good or values that don't fit with our life purpose. However, sometimes we trapped in a way of thinking that makes us a person who very hard to deal with. We think that we only defend our principles, but the truth is we shut our doors to other opinions or suggestions. For example, one day your partner thinks that today you should take a break from your workout schedule. They think you're not in a good condition after yesterday's schedule which makes you have to take overtime at the office. 
Instead of listening to your partner, you reject their suggestion and you have made a decision that you must force your body to move, whatever the condition is. Your strong principles may be good and could make you a better person day by day. But if you are too pushy and you don't want to listen to what your partner says, it will hurt them. Because if they really love you, they don't want to see you hurt. Even more if they think you hurt yourself because of your own ambition. Keeping your attitude on the hard way may hurt not only yourself but it can hurt your partner also. If they think their attention for you is rejected by you, slowly they can choose to ignore you. 9. You force your values to your partner. Everyone has their own values about life. Our quality as a human is built by our values. For instance we believe that everybody basically is good inside only a misfortune that leads them to a wrong way. Or you think there's no such thing like true honesty because you think that humans will always have their secret. Whatever your values, it is entirely your rights. Our values build day by day from our experience, routine, and all insight that is obtained from all experience you already have. These values you have maybe differ from others, including your partner. You can't always make them follow your point of view. Don't force others to put their feet on your shoes if it doesn't fit. If they think money must be kept under the pillow rather at the bank, don't jump right in their faces and tell them wrong. Think of them as a human like you who builds their own principles based on their experience. Maybe your partner is having this trauma about bank scamming? Try to look for the same baseline that can fit you and your partner. So both of your values can be fulfilled. Be compromising not forcing through. 10. You work too hard. You want to make your family happy and live a prosperous life. So you decide to work as hard as you can. From 9 to 5 isn't enough for you. So you work from 7 to 7, or maybe you slept at the office. Hard work is an essential factor for having a successful life. We believe it in years because our parents and environment tell you so. Work hard or fall hard. You have to remember for whom you work. Is it for your boss, your kids and family, or is it only to fulfill your egos? Being a hard worker is a good thing but to become a workaholic is another different spectrum. Pay attention to your family more. The most important thing is, pay attention for yourself. You have to give time for your family and your body to enjoy the results of your hard work. 11. Making big all the small things. Your partner leaves their towels on the floor, they don't put the car keys back on the table, janitors coming late, your kids always running, and all things that happen around you makes you go crazy. Everything is wrong and you always want to fix it no matter what. You want everything under your control and everything is neat. You do this every day and you are consumed by it. You forgot that all these small things in life always happen in different forms. When you do this, slowly your family and your partner will feel like they're being watched by a warden. Remember what is the true meaning of sharing with your partner or your family. Communicate what you want to them. You have to see them as your partner, not your employee. 12. You don't see your partner as a whole. All the things that happen around you and your partner have a reason and cause. Some are right and some are wrong. Maybe sometimes they do wrong. Living with other people means you are ready to accept the whole package. From good and the bad. You also have your own advantages and disadvantages. If you want people to accept you as the way you are, then you must accept others, especially your partner as a human being. A human who can make mistakes, but also they can always do the right thing. These behaviors that can do damage to your relationships can be avoided by good communication good understanding and the same aim about what you and your partner wants from your relationship. May you and your loved ones reach your destination together and live happily no matter what obstacles that come to you.